$18,000 down the drain for a homeless shelter in Boulder at a time when they need it most. And it's all because of an email scam where the city was convinced to transfer the money to a fraudulent account. Denver 7's Thomas Hoppo went to the shelter earlier and spoke to those directly affected. Thomas? Well, according to the city, this problem happened in November. It would have been something that they needed during the actual November payment, but we spoke to all these people. We spoke to a homeless man who was affected directly, and he says this is the lowest thing anybody can do to a shelter. Right here, I'm actually kind of out of the uh, elements. Scott, grateful for a roof over his head. Exactly. It could be hard being homeless in Boulder for two years. Just to say I've had a lot of problems growing up that I've had to get put on disability for. Scott stays in front of this abandoned building. They do riding now and then. He stays here during the day, right next to the Boulder Shelter for the Homeless. Five to seven is the time they open up. And goes to the shelter to sleep at night, really. along with a hundred or more people. It's safe, it's a safe place for them to be. So that, that way nobody bothers them or nothing gets stolen. But last month, something did get stolen that would affect this shelter and people like Scott who need help. That's the lowest you can ever do to a shelter. The shelter was scammed out of more than $18,000. According to the city of Boulder, it was a successful email and financial scam that happened earlier in November as part of a routine payment to the shelter. The city received an email about a changed bank account and the $18,000 was transferred into a fraud account. The money will how it work, go to blankets, food, electric. No word yet if the shelter will get some type of funds back because this is still under investigation. The shelter did say things will be a challenge helping more than 100 people every night. Honestly, I would tell them to turn themselves in and just tell them to lock themselves up for life. Honestly, if they, if they want to feel like that, they belong in jail. And this payment, according to the shelter, is the payment it would have received for November as part of the contract it has with the city. Now, last year, the city changed its procedures to verify the authenticity of the request to change bank information. However, that wasn't followed. and It's now doing an internal investigation, which could lead to disciplinary action. Thomas Hoppo, number seven. Someone needs to be held accountable. Thanks, Thomas.